question a boat is in a, a man is in a boat and the boat is two miles from uh, the north from the nearest point on the coast so this is the coast and this is two miles he's on uh, he, he has to go to point q which is over here and that is located three miles down the coast which is over here three miles and one mile inland so one mile inland means it is over here he can row at a rate of two miles per hour and walk at two miles per hour so this is where he has to row and this is where he has to uh, walk so uh, we have to find that towards what point on the co coast should he row in order to reach the point q in the least time so in the least time means uh, we have to find the corresponding times in each case so time uh, while he will coast Will be equal to the distance let's say he comes out at this particular point as indicated in the figure so we have to find this particular distance let's call it d1 and we know that as per the pythagoras theorem d1 square is 2 square plus x square which means that d1 is 4 plus x square square root so that will be d1 over the speed and speed in the to coast is 2 uh, speed to coast is uh, Two miles per hour so that will be d1 over 2 and d1 is nothing but root of 4 plus x square and this is over 2 and what is the time on the road time on the road will be the total distance covered on the road which is again as per the Pythagoras theorem we can find d2 as square root of 3 minus x whole square plus 1 square so if we open open this up in fact let's keep it as it is 3 minus x whole square plus 1 so the time will be distance d2 over the speed and the speed to walk is uh, is also 2 miles per hour interesting so the speeds are same so this will be a square root of 3 minus x whole square plus 1 over 2 over 2 all right uh, now we have to find the least time it means that we have to uh, find our expression of time and differentiate and equate this with zero so the total time would be the sum of these two times which is like this so uh, if we differentiate the time with respect to x dt over dx that's going to be 1 over 2 comes out then if we differentiate this this will be 2x over 2 times root of 4 plus x square plus uh, this will become uh, 1 over 2 times this so this this is going to come down and uh, uh, differentiation of this point will become 2 times 3 minus x uh, and the minus 1 will also be there because the differentiation of 3 minus x will be minus 1 and the differentiation of 1 is just 0 so i just use the power chain rule over here if we, if we simplify this if we uh, simplify this this will become x over root of 4 plus x square because these two are just cancelled and this will be minus of 2 times 3 minus x in fact this 2 and 2 is also cancelled so we are just left with 2 mi 3 minus x over root of 3 minus x whole square plus 1 All right, so uh, in order to find the minima, what I'm going to do is uh, uh, equate this dt over dx to 0. So that will become x over root of 4 plus x square should be equal to 3 minus x over root of 3 minus x whole square plus 1. If we cross multiply, this will become x root of 3 minus x whole square plus 1 is 3 minus x times root of Four plus x square and that's where i grab my graphical calculator to get the value of x so the value of x which i'm getting is 2 and uh, this is the derivative is changing from negative to positive this also means that it has a minima over there and what do we have to find we needed to find uh, towards what point on the coast should he uh, should he come out should he row in order to reach q in the least time we have to round to two decimal places. in short we had to find the value of x so x we already found is coming as two miles thank you